Okay, so uh, my name is Brian, and I'm a 12-year veteran computer repair guy, and uh, I'm going to show you how to dismantle just about any laptop. The first things that I'm going to show you is this right here. This is really important. This is a, uh, a bin that I get. Walmart has these. Um, you know, they're just for like storing whatever, fishing tackle or something. And then I use my label maker, and I created little bins for each um, set of screws that I have. Um, this keeps me organized when I go to reassemble. So as I'm disassembling, I just put them in here, and this is my this is my tray here, so you can kind of see what exactly what I got going on. So I have that to my left. I have a couple of other special tools that I use. These are called black sticks. These are um, used by Apple Corporation or whatever. You can um, buy them online. Just type in black stick, or uh, there's another term for it. I don't know what it is. This little guy, this is like a little like a dental tool almost. You can get these at any hardware store for a couple bucks in the dollar bin. Uh, a pair of pliers is good to have, and this is the tool you're going to use the most. A tiny, um, like 3.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver with a magnetic tip, and the magnetic tip is important. Uh, if you buy one of these and it's not magnetic, you can go and find a magnet somewhere and just drag the the uh, the 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 screwdriver over the magnet in one direction and what that does is that magnetizes the metal and uh, this is really important so without a magnetized tip it's going to take you a lot longer so it's really important that you do that and, and a lot of people say well don't have a magnet near a computer because it'll damage it this is so lightly magnetized it's not going to do any damage at all alright so first step is um, this is an HP Pavilion DV6000 pretty common uh, laptop out there and this one has a bad motherboard so we're gonna go ahead and uh, and and take it apart pull the motherboard get the part number and order a new one for the client first step disconnect any power uh, pull the battery it, very simple and uh, we're gonna get started the bottom panel here is uh, needs to come off any bottom panels all of them need to come off completely and pull these off set these aside here's another one for the hard drive that off, set it aside, and uh, we can um, go ahead and start uh, reviewing the screws that we have. This machine looks like it's been worked on before. Um, I can tell that because the person who did the work uh, put the screws back in the wrong spot, and there's different colors of screws in here. Well, that's not very good. Um, the hard drive just pulled up. If you saw how I did that, um, you just pull this plastic tab up, just pop it right straight up, and that came out. Not all of them will do that. Some of them have screws. But, uh, but uh, that one was pretty simple. Now I'm going to get into my black sticks. I'm going to use the tips, the pointed tips, and I'm going to pull apart my RAM chips, the springs that hold the RAM chips in. I'm going to slide those out. And if you can see, they just pop right out. Once you manipulate these springs right here, they pop up and they slide right out. Take those out. And we're going to unplug the Wi-Fi cables. And you can see... This is a non-marring tool, so it's not going to scratch anything, and it's not going to, you know, dent the screws or scrape any solder or anything like that. It's really important. And I'm going to pull the Wi-Fi card out, and here's my first screw. And you can see it's sticking to my uh, my uh, screwdriver there. That's pretty important. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that in the appropriate spot in my bin and pull the chip. Okay, so now we're doing this in a fairly uh, organized fashion. Um, the next step I like to take is to remove all the screws on the bottom of the computer. I have a bin in my uh, uh, labeled in my in my little screw bin there called bottom panel. So every screw on this bottom panel, again, look at how easy that came out. That magnetized tip. Every screw goes in the bottom panel bin. So we go ahead, pull it out. There it is, bottom panel. Pull it out, bottom panel, pull, pull it out, make sure, bottom panel, there's another one here, bottom panel, I kind of go into a, in, a, in a systematic way, try to do this properly, bottom panel, bottom panel, bottom panel, this corner, pull these out, pull them up, magnetized tip, totally helpful because I'm not having to tip my laptop over and try to bang the screws out of the bottom of it. 
uh, and then break something else in the process because that's what you'll do if you start tapping on that and then you'll lose screws and you won't know where they go but if you do it this way it's really easy and then when you go to reassemble it you just dip your screwdriver into the bin and they stick to it and then you can stick them right down in saves you hours upon hours of time if you're going to do this for a living or if you're just doing it for you know your personal you know laptop you're going to be fixing it it's like it just makes sense to do this okay so now I've got all those out here's one and it's labeled with a little symbol that looks like a keyboard uh, but it's the same size as the bottom panel screw so I'm just going to go ahead and do that there's one here labeled as CD-ROM here it's got a little round signal on there that's the CD the screw there and I have a bin called CD and once that's out I can just slide the CD-ROM right straight out and uh, and that's good and now we've got a couple of screws here in the CD tray right here so I'm gonna pull those out and remember I'm doing a full dismantle on this laptop and those go in the CD bin as well okay in in the little in the little in the container here you can see I got CD I got hinges interior bottom HD which stands for hard drive battery tray interior bottom under keyboard bottom panel hinges and CD so those are all the the, the labels and you're gonna have screws that are kind of gonna end up in a weird spot anyway uh, but that's a majority of the ones that you know the the bin is for next is gonna be the battery tray I see I've got three screws right here looks like they put a bottom panel screw in this in the uh, battery tray if they'd use my uh, my um, my uh, method they wouldn't have done that so we're gonna go ahead and find this is a proper battery tray screw so we're going to put it in the battery tray bin, battery tray, and we're going to just double check to make sure we have pulled every screw that we can see on this bottom panel. Now there's a couple of screws down in here um, that look like they might want to come out at some point, but I'm not going to do those just yet. And there's one here on the underside. We're going to pull that one. Um, it's a very short and small screw, and it went underneath the hard drive. I will put this in the hard drive bin so I won't forget where it went. Okay, so now we've gotten that far. We've got our Wi Fi antenna wires here. We have checked to make sure that all the screws are out. We're going to flip the laptop back over. We're going to open up the laptop. And the next step is to take our black stick and we are going to try to pop this, this top panel off. See how easy that came up and I didn't scratch it? Uh, that's pretty important, but you want to be very, very careful with these HPs because you're going to find that they're plugged in with these little wires right down in here, and they've got because these are, they got those quick key buttons. The you know you don't want to ruin those, so we're going to go ahead and pull this open and get out these little wires here. Okay, there's one, and. Here's another one. And again, I'm using the black stick. I'm not using a screwdriver because I'm going to damage things if I do that. And then this guy right here needs to come out. I'm using two black sticks, pointed tips. I'm going to pop that out. Boom. I've got my, my top panel. Almost every laptop is assembled the same way in this, in this configuration. Next step, we're going to remove the keyboard. And let's see if this one is... Was this one fixed? Uh, we may have may have a couple of screws that we missed or something. Oh, I did. I missed two screws right here. They were hiding, hiding right here, and they got they're labeled with keyboard, but they're inside the battery tray. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put them in the battery tray bin. Okay. And uh, so if you start to tug on something and it doesn't come up you'll know that you've missed a screw or two and I did and as you can see now the screws now the keyboard comes right up here's the other thing you want to be really sensitive with you want to be sensitive with this battery or the uh, the, the cables the ribbon cables that hold the, uh, the for the keyboard and such those will snap and they're expensive actually you have to replace the whole keyboard if you do that so don't do that um, okay so now we're going to try to pull this top panel off and uh, I noticed that the um, the wires for the 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 uh, 
antenna for the Wi-Fi are threaded through this top panel. And then they go up into the uh, LCD screen right up in here. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. And uh, because we obviously won't be able to get that top panel off without taking that off. And then I've got a couple of screws here. I've got uh, one here. This one's going to go in the under keyboard bin. So I've got an under keyboard bin. Goes right there. And also these ribbon cables right here need to come out as well because they will break if I'm not careful. So we're just going to pull those out. And sometimes, like if you're doing this and you don't feel comfortable uh, pulling this stuff all apart like this, uh, I initially when I started doing this kind of work, I would take a picture with my, my camera or a phone or something um, so that I could remember where all of this stuff went, you know, um, before, you know, and then that that's very helpful. Um, because then you can refer back to it. Uh, here's the other thing is is the trackpad uh, ribbon cable needs to pop out because I'm going to pull this whole top panel off and uh, that that's all kind of in the same uh, piece there. And then this right here, I don't know if you can see this, but this right here is a uh, is your LCD cable and they give you a nice little handy tug tool, tug uh, ribbon there so you can pull on it. Don't pull on the actual cable. You want to pull on the, the tougher part of the, the tug pull there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and see if we've gotten enough to pop all this, this top panel off. Feels like we do, but then if, you know, you're, you're feeling around and it feels like maybe there's another screw somewhere around in, in this area that is still connected. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over going to look around and yeah there's a screw right here the one that we said we might have to remove it looks like we're going to have to remove it I don't know if that's the guy but we're going to try and this is uh, this is down in the area where the Wi-Fi was so we're going to go ahead and put that in the, the HD bin just for now and then we're going to just double check make sure that we don't have any other screws all these other screws here. Bah, 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 bah. Anything? I don't see anything. All right. So now we're going to go back to this top panel. I'm just going to see if we can get it to pop off. I've I've done a few of these HPs where there's always one little piece that doesn't want to give up the ghost, you know. And you kind of have to fiddle with it. It's not an exact uh, dismantling. It's always not exact. It's, sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. So you don't want to tug on anything too hard. And I'm still getting the sense that there's something underneath this holding in under this trackpad. So I'm going to go ahead and try to isolate where that is. Oh, all right, I see it. In this laptop, these screw heads right here, the ones that hold in the Wi-Fi card, and if this model had a Bluetooth, um, uh, th those little uh, screws are holding, are, are holding this motherboard in and the top panel on. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my handy dandy, handy dandy little uh, um, pliers here and I'm just going to loosen those up until I can get my fingers in there and unloosen them. There we go. So they don't look like screws but in fact they are. Okay. So we're going to take those out. We're going to put those in the CD bin. Take that out. Hopefully that will give us the much needed relief. I'll pull this up and we'll know right away. There was a couple more under there. But I'm gonna, yep, that was it. Okay. So now we've got this coming off. 
and it looks like in order to get this off we're going to need to uh, pull the LCD hinges as well. So we're going to, this is a really going to be a full dismantle, so I've got a hinge bin, there's one screw there, and here's another one, and notice how the magnet comes in really handy. Alright, so now we got our LCD, uh, whole LCD panel off, and now we can hopefully get this off. This whole panel here looks like this plastic piece just unsnaps. And this one's got one more little screw holding it in and you know this might look intimidating and it, it is a little bit um, you know initially but once you've done it a hundred and some odd times the intimidation tends to fade um, alright so now we've got our whole top panel off and now we can see our motherboard so we're getting deeper and deeper into this laptop we're, we're organized, right? We've got our screws here, and we're all set. So on this, in this particular model, I need to get this motherboard off so I can get the part number. And it's possible that the part number is here, or it's possible that it's on the underside. So I do have to pull the whole dang thing, unfortunately. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these ribbon cables. And those ribbon cables were for the um, quick launch buttons and the power button. So we got to remember that. They're identical though, so that, that's good. And uh, alright, so we've got all this up. And I'm just going to kind of do a tug test and see where we need to pull any further screws. Looks like I have to pull the expansion bay out to get the motherboard out. It's pretty common. I'm going to go ahead and pull those screws, and that's going to go in the interior bottom bin because we are in the interior of the laptop, and it is the bottom of the interior. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And, it, and then there's two more screws here. These HPs, some of these are not actually this difficult to pull apart. This one is pretty, pretty difficult. I wouldn't say difficult. I'd say just time consuming. Alright, expansion bay unplugs. Got that out. And now we are we're getting there. So the fan is there. Just want to make sure we don't have anything kind of holding us in. And it's possible you gotta kinda of tweak the just a little bit to get this out. There we go. And now we got some cables hanging us up. Uh, we've got this guy here. Pull him out. And this little guy here, gonna pull him out. Those are most likely for, one is for power and the other one's for USB port that's on that side. These are that other cable I just popped off is uh, for the audio jacks in the front. Alright, so now I've got my motherboard out. This is a full disassemble of this laptop and we did it in a relatively short amount of time. Thanks for watching and uh, again my name is Brian and uh, please subscribe if you can to my feed. Thanks.